For canines with a career in search and rescue, it pays to report for duty wearing paws. Portable, all-terrain, wireless solution. It's upgraded gear that's changing crisis response. There was an issue with the other equipment that was already on the market. What was happening was that they were using low-grade wireless solutions, and as they went behind obstacles such as a fallen wall or a tunnel, the signal would turn off. So they took an existing technology and made it better. The innovation is the wireless. We can actually work through uh, rough terrain. We can work in tunnels. We can work semi-underground to probably 20 meters underground. So when searching for somebody after an earthquake or a fallen building, our equipment will keep the signal live. The first thing that Byron is wearing on his head is an IR camera which illuminates in the dark so that we can get shots of daylight and obviously as we go through tunnels and covered areas. There's a control panel which allows us to see whether the equipment switched on before we send the dog in for the search. The main transmitter with its antenna which is what transmits the signals back to the receive station. We have a voice pack which allows the microphone and speaker to be put into operation. Here we have Pally case that arrives on the scene. It has a main screen for viewing, an auxiliary screen so other operators can see what's going on, a receiver with diverse antennas so that you can get the maximum signal strength through there, a transmitter so you can talk to the dog, and a speaker so that you can hear what the dog's doing. Yeah, Byron's mission today is a training exercise, and we're going to bury someone in the rubble. Uh, then what we'll do is we'll send Byron in with a camera. Boy, so search dog, anybody hear me? Go find your team. Go, wait, find. Who wait? And we'll hopefully see the casualty. The dogs will penetrate sometimes quite a way into a building where we can't go as humans. Who wait? Good. Wait, find. To get a live feed of the problems outside is massively important. Even in this tunnel, the wireless is getting the image across. And no wires means the fire can move freely. Looks like a dead end. But Byron is not giving up. Get up. Good. Hop. Hop, hop, hop. Good. Good lad, bro. Eventually, he hits <laughs> the <laughs> jackpot. <laughs> With his part done, Byron turns the task over to a human. Transmitter is transferred to the fire officer, and the fire officer will continue to demonstrate how the video can assist in the rescue. Still got work to do with getting him used to the harness, uh, and obviously I've got to do something about the hair in front of the camera, but a bit of brill cream will sort that out hopefully. But other than that, really pleased with him, and uh, it's hopefully this technology will come on in leaps and bounds.